What's up, folks? I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. And this is Blackboard Gaming, where we teach you about all these great board games that are out there. Waiting to be played by you and yours. I'm a simple Everybody. First of all, we'd like to wish everyone a happy Easter. Now, two years ago, we did a video called I've Got a Game for That, Easter Edition. And we had a lot of fun where I asked Alicia, what did she like about the Easter Sunday? And I had a game for that. So I wanted to do a updated version of that video. So we're calling this, I've got a game for that, Easter edition. Volume two. <laughs> now, like I said, in the last video, she told me what she liked, and I said I had a game for that. This time, I just picked eight games and an honorable mention. He got to have an honorable <laughs> mention. I don't understand that. Well, there's a good reason why it's an honorable okay, mention. Okay, I'm... There's this really... Oh, okay good reason okay but i'm just gonna show her the games that i picked and why i picked it and then she's going to assess whether or not i picked a good game for easter okay all right okay so without wasting any time we're gonna get right to it okay so are you ready for my honorable mention yeah okay well see the reason why it's an honorable mention because an hour from the time this video posts, the championship game for March Madness will be going on downtown. Okay. You know, so I picked this game here, basketball. <laughs> you see? Okay, I, I'm gonna let him have that. No, one. this is now this game. I, I've yet to play this because I bought it with my best friend in mind, and he's coming to visit in a couple months. And so, he's excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I am really excited, and we're finally we're gonna get this game to the table. And in this game, you pretty much are managing a assembling a basketball team. You know, so that's why it's an honorable mention. I see. Okay. Uh, I mean, I wrong. you know, because I don't know how March Madness and Easter comes together okay, usually. Okay, it's all spring, so we're gonna <laughs> let it roll, y'all. All right. So now we're gonna get right into the list. Okay. Okay. Now, I think this first one is going to be the one you might, mm, but and I'm going to pick it anyway, because I have a couple reasons. All right. One, the White Castle. Okay, yeah, you, you got to explain <laughs> this one. Well, okay, first and foremost, the reason I picked it, I picked it for two reasons. Okay. One is a good segue into the next game, but the reason I picked this one is because we are in spring. Okay. We had a mild winter. Yes. I don't remember getting out to shovel snow during winter. We had to do it a few times. No. I think you did it. Okay. Well, anyway, being that you did it, it wasn't a lot of snow. <laughs> <laughs> so, you understand my point. Okay. So, spring started like um, a week and a half ago, on the 20th, I believe. Officially. Yes, officially, which is, like I said, we calendar much, is a lie. We pretty much had Friday, <laughs> we had more snow than we had all winter. <laughs> and I had to shovel it. You know, and I was out there shoveling, you know. <laughs> so, yes, the White Castle, there's snow on there. Okay? The second reason is because in this game, you one of the game. You're sending out your gardeners and you're sending out your warriors to train, but you're sending your courtiers, courtiers out into the castle mm -hmm. to inf for influence. Yes. Okay. Now, of course, if you're going in the castle, you got to come in with your best. You, you got to come in dressed oh, and impressed. Oh, so like you wear your Sunday best to exactly. So y'all, that's a stretch. No, there is no stretch. Here we go. That's a stretch. Couture. Couture. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, now, I'm, I'm, I'm a roll with that one. Couture. It's Hulk Couture. Yes, okay. absolutely. See, but White Castle was a segue. Okay. 
Uh, Y'all, I'm saying White Castle is a stretch. No. But I'm going to give you couture. I'm going to give you couture. And so this one is we are fashion models. We are trying to be the best model, you know. And this is, oh, first of all, there are, like I said, there are eight games. And I have, you played four or three. I haven't played that one. No, we haven't played that. I haven't played it either. But okay. I'm looking forward to playing this. Okay. You know? <laughs> so, you, you're trying to draft your outfits. I was about to say, is it a card game? Yeah, it's a card game. You're drafting your outfits. So, so it's a up. It's a oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Cue runway music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, it's an updated you know? paper dolls. I don't know. I guess. <laughs> All right. But that's why I picked this one. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'll give you that one. All right, so, but you got to give me White Castle. White Castle is questionable, y'all. Uh, okay. Um, during Easter, you visit family. Now, our daughter, our only daughter, lives in Vegas. So, in order for us to go visit her, we definitely got to take a plane. <laughs> <laughs> right. But just for the record, we're not flying. We're not flying the plane. <laughs> we're just taking a plane. Yes. So that I put this. Yes. The Sky Team, we we talked about this one, you know. <laughs> Great two player co op game where we're placing it's a dice placement game. We're trying to land this plane. Yes. You know, so I had to pick this one. Okay. All right. So anyway, so now also Easter is the time to celebrate. You, Easter celebrates a couple of things. And the one thing it celebrates is spring is coming. The weather's going to get warm and everything. So in order for us to celebrate, we have to get through winter. All right? So I picked one of your games, Maple Valley. <laughs> now, I had to pick this because it takes place in spring. Yes. You know, and there's celebrations like the... The, the uh, campfires, the festivals, the bake sales, yes. stuff like that. So I picked this one. Yeah, I would agree with that. Okay, but you still not, you still kind of iffy on white. I'm still iffy on white. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I had to, that was a lot of snow. So anyway, now. Why, why, why? He had to shovel snow in Michigan, y'all. <laughs> what a travesty. All right, so um, the fr this next one. I'm going to throw this one in real quick because you usually cook on Easter. You know, everybody at my job asks you, what are you cooking for Easter? I'm not cooking nothing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so she cooks, and whatever she cooks, it's going to be delicious. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh-huh. Yep. I don't think you failed me yet. <laughs> you know? And this is a flipping right game where you're gardening, you collecting, uh, vegetables and all that so and we have not played this one i remember i picked this up like the only game where well no the next game is the only one that's been sent to us for review okay you know but all the rest of the games i picked up okay all right so delicious oh that's so sweet yep so so that means he gotta eat whatever i cook tomorrow y'all depending on what you cook see <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, so, of course, like I said, people like to go visit family. So, this is the game that was sent to us for review, Garden Guests. Okay, I get the guest part. Yeah, well, gardens and flowers. See the flowers? I almost put this on my that green list, but I knew this list was coming. Okay. So, I, I wanted to pick this one. But in this game, you, we are... Trying to build colonies of, uh, I think we're taking on the role of beetles. See, that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking garden guests are <laughs> part of books. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that, I mean, I get the guest part and I get the garden part, but. but. Now, I've, I've tried this game out and I think it's, you know, it's it goes two to six players. Okay. But at six players, you play as three teams of two. Okay. Okay, and what you're trying to do is connect your beetles from one side of the garden to the other by building colonies and, and making trails, in between, connecting trails. Okay. You know, by playing cards. Okay. And like I said, I tried it out. I really liked it. We need to get this to the table. Okay. You know, I think you, you'll enjoy it. Just a really nice family way game. 
Okay. And so. <laughs> All right. So. There you go. Speaking of. Speaking of gardens. Okay. Like in the springtime. Things. The trees start getting their leaves back. And we start. You know. You start seeing the grass grow. And things are starting to. Blue. Revive. <laughs> Y'all, that was a stretch. <laughs> it's not a stretch. Look, the world reviving. Look at that. See, it's snow, but the flower is poking out. Like, hey, we still here. You know, that. And I, so I thought, and then think about it. There, It has a double meaning. Okay, resurrection. Exactly. Okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Speaking of that, last game. This is another game that I... We, I haven't played. I really got to get this today today because I love the Vere games. And that is, I want to say it's Jerusalem or Jerusalem. I don't know if that's an I or J. It's Jerusalem. Okay. I mean, but I don't know how they got it it's on here. It's a Jerusalem. Yeah. And in this game, you play as, take on the role of uh, disciples who are trying to get uh, close to Jesus at the Last Supper. Okay. You know, so, you know, at the table. You want to oh. get a, 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 a seat close to Jesus at the table. Okay. You know, so I think this really fits. It really does. Okay. So, all right. Those, that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight games. What did you think of my choices? This is your final assessment. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Since we going to put, I'm going to say revive because of the resurrection. Okay. It fits better for that. I'm not sure about them garden guests. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, think about it. If you haven't, you notice I didn't put any games with eggs. So, but you have Easter eggs hunts. And sometimes you have hunts out. You know, you go hide okay. the eggs outside. In the garden. So now people are out there looking for eggs. So now you got garden guests. <laughs> you have guests in your garden. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. And they're just guests. I will give you everything <laughs> except... I'm sorry. No, White Castle. No. White Castle, like I said, two days after spring started, we got all that snow. Poor baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, so, yes, White and like I said, it had a double meaning. You, When you're a courtier, you come in dressed to impress. True. So, that's, that's what do you do on Easter Sunday? You dress to impress. All right. That's how. <laughs> so those are our eight games. Now we got here. We got a little update also for my personal board game challenge. For those not in the know, I just turned fifty-eight, and my goal is to play com through the complete board game collection by the time I turn sixty. Now, I've come to realize that Alicia is not going to help that much with that. <laughs> And I'm, I'm not saying because she doesn't play, she's not going to play every game. It's when, if we play a game and, and she likes it, instead of me moving on, we're going to play it more and more. Okay, so, <laughs> disclaimer here. He is the reason we played this game so much, no, even mm -mm. though I really liked it. Uh-huh, no, nah, no, nah, because you really liked it. And I wanted to please, you know, let's play it again. Because you liked it so much. Now, the game we're talking about, so what we're doing, I'm stuck in, the, I'm in the A's right now. And so the thing is, I'm bouncing around like there's some, um, this coming Tuesday, I'm supposed to play Ahoy with a bunch of guys at the board game store. And then uh, Ryan and Emily, they don't, they have never played Anachrony. So I love it. It's actually my second favorite game of all time, according to Pug Meeple. And <laughs> so I'm supposed to teach them next week. But we played Aqua, uh, Biodiversity in the Oceans, which is a beautiful game. So first of all, <laughs> we both love the theme. But what was funny is it made me think of one game. It made him think of another. So the game it made me think of was Calico. Because of the um, hexagon shapes. Well, I think it, I can see where you would think it would uh, remind you of Calico because you had those, even though you're building up your map kind of like Cascadia, 
the challenge of scoring those points. No, initially on... that was what it was. It wasn't even the mechanics. Initially, it literally was the hexagon shape. Oh, oh, oh the fact you gotta match the colors and all that. Yes. Okay, got it, got it. I see where you're coming from. Yes. You know. And what I what attracted me, this is a game I picked up. And what attracted me to it was, of course, Vincent Dutre. Yes. You know, I love the colors of the game and how each color, not it's not just a different color, it's a different type of life. Yes. Underneath the, uh, the, the Great Barrier Reef. It represents a different organism. Yeah, and I just really, really enjoyed that game. I enjoyed it too, yes. He, for real, y'all, he tried to put it on me. He it, wanted no, to keep we playing. played it. And then we didn't like. We had to play it to learn it. To, to learn the strategy because um, on those different scoring opportunities, once you put one of the large animals out there, then you're trying to that that large animal coincides with a, a, one of the small animals, and you're trying to get as many of those small animals out into your, you know, reef so that in you order can to score, score points, points. You know, because you got that big animal. You know. So, this game was is very colorful. It is. It's very uh, pretty. Isn't the word? It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit too busy to just say pretty, but it's very visually appealing. Yeah. Is is it the color? It's very vibrant. Yeah. And the color pops. Yeah, it really, really does. <laughs> now we played it the first time. We didn't score very well. So I said, let's play, try it again. And then I scored very well. And then she was like, well, we're going to play that again because she didn't like her score. And then she scored the highest out of the four plays we had. She had scored the highest. So and in the is, third game, I was I scored low. And, and I was he, like. He insisted we play again. Yeah, but it's still her fault. I'm just going to put it on her. So we're at a holding pattern. You know, I, I'm like, nope, we're go I gotta move on. I'm gonna play Ahoy, you know, and I'll come back to you on another A game. You know. Now, but that's the board game, personal board game challenge update. So we did also play Abandon All Artichokes. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> really cute family weight game. I could honestly, I thought it was adorable, but truthfully. I probably wouldn't play it with a bunch of adults unless there was nothing else to do. But I could definitely see enjoying this with kids. I would play it with adults. If I'm just waiting on another well, bigger yeah, game, as a I would play it as, as adult. a time filler. Yeah, because I really did like it. It, it was cute. It, it was fun. I love that reveal when you're trying, because you're trying to get rid of all the artichokes out of your hand. And you can tell. <laughs> so, the way you win is if somebody draws a new hand and there are no artichokes and you know whether the game has ended or not right because you're looking at <clears throat> your opponent's face and when that artichoke come up yeah you're like oh man <laughs> <laughs> so that that's what makes that game fun yes you know this could have easily been on this list or the green list oh actually it could have been yes. yeah so okay anyway one more thing so this is the last day in March, which means in April, we'll have we have been doing this for four years. We started in April 2020. Wow, I can't believe it. Right. Wow. I, mean, <laughs> I can believe I was 54 then. A lot has changed. Now I'm 58. In, <laughs> a lot has changed in four years. So we're going to do at the end, the last Sunday of April, we're gonna do some kind, we haven't figured out what we're going to do. But what we are going to do is we're going to be giving away a bunch of games. We're going to give away four games. Yep, four games. We want to celebrate with you. Yep. So um, the games uh, is going to be a copy of Point City, a copy of Deep Dive, a copy of Trio, and a copy of That's Not a Hat. <laughs> and so what we want you to do is in the comments... Put hashtag four uh, four year anniversary four year anniversary and and you do that you'll be entered into the drawing 
Uh, also, if you follow us on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, also do hashtag um, for, for your anniversary there. And I'll take your name, put it into the drawing. And then the last video in uh, April, uh, mm -hmm. April, the last Sunday of April. We will celebrate and our giveaways will be part of our celebration. Yeah, and we're not sure how we're going to celebrate. It might be some... some <laughs> we're not sure how we're going to celebrate. It might be some weird top 10 something. But, <laughs> but anyway, first, thank you for sticking with us all these years. It's been fun. It has been. But like I said, we're not, we're not, um, we can tell you how much we love playing games together, you know. And we're, we're not going to break down a game or tear it down or you know, but we will. We really only talk about the games that we really like. Yes. You know, well, I do. <laughs> Her not so much. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. So, if you like the contents of this video, feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. This has been Blackboard Gaming. We will see you next time.